All right, so you've um, made it this far. Let's actually find out how to use the virtual machine now we've downloaded it and installed it. Open up a new terminal window or connect um, via SSH uh, to whatever it is that you're going to connect to. So for me, it's um, root at 100 into the password. I'm now connected to Unraid. Let's find out if there's any virtual machines running with Excel list. There are not. Okay, so let's create one. Excel create, and then it's mount cache archvm arch.config, and I'm going to do hyphen C. Actually, I'm not, I'm going to show you something. Um, Excel create mount cache archvm arch.config, and this will create the virtual machine, the appliance that you've downloaded. It's now running. We can verify that with Excel top. Bingo, there we are. There's the virtual machine spinning away quite nicely. Okay, so let's do Excel console and then the name of the virtual machine as shown in Excel list. And for me, it's Arch VM like that. Okay, so I've created a couple of default users for, for you um, root and the password. It's on RAID 6 and just a non privileged user called user password also unraid 6 but I want to log in as root and the password unraid 6 which should take you to this screen here um, if you can hear any noises my dog is making them and I can't make him stop because he's a dog um, so we're now logged into um, your virtual machine appliance First thing we probably want to do is refresh the um, package repositories because they may well be a few days old. So type in Pacman. This is like Ubuntu's apt get, but on Arch it's called Pacman. Um, so Pacman hyphen capital S, and that's really important. And then just do double Y, and then uh, U, and then press Enter. And this will refresh all of the package repositories and do any upgrades to any of the existing packages if required. Now, I only made this up a few hours ago, so there are no upgrades to do. You may well see some. Don't panic. It's expected. But you can see here, um, I've actually already added a custom repo that I've made, which contains quite a few useful packages, such as the ones listed here. Now, let's say we want to install... Plex Media Server, that could be useful on an Unraid box, I would imagine. So let's do um, Pacman minus S, S. Now if we, if we do capital S, lowercase s, this searches the repository. So let's just type in Plex and see what comes up. Okay, so we can see that in the Unraid 6 repo, here we have a package called Plex Media Server. There's a whole load of other stuff in the core the extra, but none of them are actually what we're looking for. So obviously what we're going to do now is install Plex Media Server. And we do that with Pacman hyphen capital S Plex Media Server. And this name must match the format of the name here. Hit enter and it's going to download four packages. It's going to download Media Server itself and then three dependencies which Plex requires. And these dependencies come from my repository sometimes, but most of the time they come from the core and the extra repository of Arch. So it's really neat to do this. And if you just press yes, it's going to download those dependencies and then install them. Just wait a few seconds, it won't take long. All right, so we have finished the install now. So what we want to do is enable the Plex daemon so that it starts automatically every time we switch on the computer, the virtual machine, and then actually manually start it so we can play around with it now. So first of all, we want to use system D um, and the control to control that, the command to control that is system control enable Plex media server. And if you get this garbage here, that means that something has done the correct thing. If I type in system control enable something that doesn't exist, it's going to fail. 
Okay, so if you've got the command right, you should get something that looks like this. If you've got it wrong, it's going to shout at you and check your typing. Um, so that's uh, enabled it for um, automatic startup at boot, but currently there is no Plex thing running, and we can just check that real quick. See, nothing. So what we want to do is system control start Plex media server. And again, there we are. Look, it's it's working. So what we want to do is grab the IP address now of our Arch appliance. And we do that with IP space adra. And we can see in here it is 10.0.0.106. Yours will probably be different. Just substitute it for what you need. So for Plex, it's the address of your box, colon 32400 forward slash web and there we are now that's all you need to do to get Plex running obviously you'll need to add some movies and TV shows obviously but uh, I'm sure you can figure that bit out yourself now you can repeat that process for any of these apps in here as well let me just show you Sab NZBD as that's a very useful one Pac-Man minus S Sab NZBD see all the dependencies it's going to download we'll just install that only take a second all right all done now if you want SSL support you will need to install this package here uh, so pacman minus s python 2 hyphen pi open SSL And it takes a second. So next we want to enable it to automatically start up. So sab nzbd. And you can chain things together here if you want to. So you, you know you could enable three or four services at once. We only want to do one. So system control enable sab nzbd. System control start sab nzbd. Now I think the default port is 8080 or something and you have to go and edit a config file. So let me show you that. Let's go to cd opt sab nzbd and in here there should be a sab ini file. Let's go and edit that. So let's uh, let's use nano and we'll type nano sab nzbd dot ini. Now we want to search, so do control w, we want to search for host. We want to change this to allow us to listen to it. If you also want to change the port as well, do um, Control W and type in port and do Control W again and hit enter and that will take you to the correct one. Now I, I put it on a, a silly port so that nobody port scans me and uh, we put it there. Now these changes won't take effect until SAB NZBD restarts and System Control can do that of course because it's awesome. System Control restart SAB nzbd all right now if i go back to my browser and type in the port number that i chose yours is probably 8080 if you're not weird like me and voila there's sub nzbd so hopefully that gives you a quick idea of the power of having a custom repository in the appliance virtual machine model um any questions or anything like that hit me up in the um thread or in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, the repository uh, will be taking requests. I've had quite a few people request a few things that aren't in here already and I will add them and I will try and keep it as up to date as I can do. But um, I guess that's it. So uh, enjoy your new appliance. Bye.